However successful we get on YouTube, there's always that horrible question that's in our heads. Well, it's in my head. How many subscribers am I losing this month? How many subscribers am I losing across my channel? And which videos are losing me the most subscribers? We can always see our subscriber numbers just gently going up. But you and I both know that that number is hiding how many people are unsubscribing. You and me are going to find out three ways to count the number of subscribers we are losing. Firstly, how many subscribers we're losing across our whole channel over any time period, so this week, this month, or this year. Then we'll see how many are unsubscribing from individual videos. And then the thing I think you want to see the most, because it's the thing that I wanted to see the most, which videos are losing me the most subscribers? And I'll show you why that is not a very helpful figure. So let's find the first number. How many people have unsubscribed from my channel? This is my YouTube studio, and we're gonna click on analytics on the left-hand side. This is how my channel is looking at the moment, but on the top right-hand corner, can you see this button here? Advanced mode. If we click on that, I don't like going into this page. I think these graphs look really ugly and intimidating. But along the top of the screen, can you see these tabs? We've got video, traffic source. If you click on more, it brings up a list of even more tabs that you can open. And it sometimes hides these, so it might be worth clicking on the more to find subscription source. It's next to subscription status. And this page is for the last 28 days. If I scroll down past the lines, there you go, you can see total number of subscribers column, a subscribers gain column, and a subscribers lost column. So this is for the last month. I gained 164 subscribers, but I also lost 43, which means overall, I only went up by 121 subscribers. That is how I know how many subscribers I've lost. I can even change the time period. If I click on this box at the top, you can see all these different options you can select. So I'm going to choose last seven days. And I can see in the last week, I gained 49 subscribers and lost seven. Ah, oh, big sad. I think I need a drink just to uh, calm my nerves. Let's go back to the last 28 days and I'll scroll down and this brings up the whole list of different ways for people to leave my channel. Let's quickly go through them one by one. There's my YouTube watch page. These are the subscribers I've gained and lost from individual videos on my channel. Underneath that is my YouTube channel. So this is where people have subscribed or unsubscribed from my actual channel page. We have interactive features, the next one down. I gained two subscribers by people basically clicking on either the watermark in the corner or maybe my face at the end of the video. I can see that I lost two subscribers from my subscriptions feed. I lost another four subscribers from the YouTube homepage. And then there's this kind of catch-all figure at the bottom for other places where we can gain and lose subscribers from these places that aren't listed above. If I wanted a total figure for the last year, let's choose last 365 days. What a graph. <laughs> I can see here that I have lost 468 subscribers. And in that same year, I've gained 2,470 which means the actual number of subscribers that have increased over the year is 2002. Hello, I'm Neil, by the way, and welcome to The Happy Heart. I'm niching my channel to only be about making more videos right here on YouTube. And I think that is the reason why so many subscribers are leaving who didn't sign up for that. So it's kind of a good thing that they're leaving. Let's go into the figures for an actual video now. So I'm back into channel analytics. I'm gonna click on my list of videos. Let's choose how YouTube banned my thumbnail. That seems appropriate for, <laughs> for what we're talking about. And I've clicked on the analytics button for this video. And just like with the channel figures, we're going to go up to the top right hand corner and click advanced mode. And once again, I'm going to click on the more button to bring up my list where I can choose subscription source. And these are my figures for the last 28 days. That's the default. I can see that I gained four subscribers. But if I go up to the time period on the top right hand side, 
and choose the lifetime figures, this is the total number of subscribers gained and lost for the lifetime of the video. I have gained nine subscribers on this one video and this video lost one subscriber. So the overall number of subscribers that it tells me on that overview page is eight subscribers. Now you can do this with any video, but we're gonna go for the big one now, which is how do we find out which videos are losing the most subscribers? I'll go back to my channel analytics page and in the top right hand corner, once again, we'll click on the advanced mode button. And this brings up my top 50 videos by views. So the video with the most number of views is at the top and it orders them all the way down that list. What we can do now is to click on this blue cross here. It brings up this list of other metrics that we can choose. So we're gonna select subscribers gained. You can see it's on the list here. And that adds a new column and it's ordered the list of videos by subscribers gained. And if I click the blue cross again, I can choose subscribers lost. And that adds this column here, subscribers lost. And it's ordered the videos by number of subscribers lost. If I go up to the time box and choose last 365 days, we can now see my list of videos ordered by highest number of subscribers lost. I don't think this list is very helpful. We saw earlier that a video is only one of seven places where people can unsubscribe from my channel. So this idea that one video is making lots of people unsubscribe just, just isn't true. The most that one video has lost is five subscribers and that video also happens to be one of my biggest viewed videos. It's, it's my biggest fear, obviously. I, I'm convinced that one video is gonna wreck my channel, but the numbers that I'm seeing don't really support that. I think this means that my videos aren't the place where people are unsubscribing. A much more useful figure for me is to go back to the list of videos and this is a bit more positive as well. If I order the list by subscribers gained, it's so much more useful for me to know which videos are gaining the most subscribers because I can see what I'm doing right. I can see instantly my top five videos for gaining subscribers for the last month. And if I open that up to the entire year so far, 2021, I can see the top five videos that are gaining subscribers. This, this information is just, it's just much more useful for me. It's so much more positive. If you've made it to this point of the video, then hopefully my channel is for you. So thanks for being awesome and hitting that subscribe button. And here's another video about how I run my YouTube channel. Can you please help my daddy get 10,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. All right, this is gonna be the proper one, Mike.